Alright, so it's Jack, and what I'm going to be doing is making a tier list of UFC fighters. And if you don't know what the website Tier Maker is, it's pretty much just, well, you can probably tell. They give you a bunch of pictures of, of just random things, and you pretty much rank them from, like, worst to best. And this is just a random person's I did, which I'm not sure if I can find who made this tier list, but... This is just a random one I found on the website. You can make your own or you can just find random ones like I did. But uh, yeah, we're going to start this off. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion on, on these fighters. So starting off with Francis Ngannou. Oh, that's an interesting one. Um, Obviously not in the UFC anymore, in the PFL, but what he did on... What he did in the UFC was very impressive. I mean, he won the title, never lost the title, just vacated it. And the only person right now I could see beating him would be John Jones. And that's a tough fight for John Jones. But uh, I'm debating if he should be good or very good. I'll put him in very good. Might as well. Ooh, next up, this is a good one. Dominic Cruz. That's who that is, right? I can barely see some of these pictures. They're kind of... Not blurry, but just kind of small. Um, but yeah. Dominic Cruz. One of the best bantamweights of all time. Um, this is tough. Um, was champ at one point. Defended his title, I believe. And... Yeah, I'm gonna. He was a very good fighter. I'm gonna have to go with it. Also for the goat category, I'm not just gonna put one person. I'm gonna put like goats, so like my top five kind of. So yeah. All right, Edson Barbosa is next up, and Edson Barbosa. He's super flashy. Um, he was never the champ, but he was a very good fighter. Um, never the champ. I can't put him in the same category as Francis Ngannou and um, Dominic Cruz, so I'm going to put him in good. He was a good fighter, but I can't put him in the same category as those two. All right, next up, John Jones. Go, obviously. It's pretty obvious. Um, then we have Jose Aldo, which Jose Aldo, obviously everybody knows him for getting knocked out by Conor McGregor, but before the conor mcgregor fight nobody beat him in like 10 years or something crazy like that and then he ended up getting the belt back after that and losing it to max holloway but he's still one of the greatest ever so i'm gonna have to put him in the go category all right next up is i can barely who is it it doesn't even look like ufc it looks like bellator i don't know who that is we're just gonna put him down there all right henry cejudo Ooh, this is a tough one. I don't know where I'm going to put him. Henry Cejudo, obviously, was a double champ. Um, I want to put him in the GOAT category, but also he didn't have a very long and, like, crazy title run. So I'm going to just put him in very good. Obviously, one of the only double champs. There's only been four, and he's one of them. I mean, skill-wise, he'd be in the GOAT category, but what he did in his career, I'm going to put him in very good. Ooh, Conor McGregor. This is an interesting one. Actually, not really. I feel like this is an obvious category, and that's very good. I mean, you can't put him in the GOAT because he he's lost to multiple people, and even though Aldo is in the GOAT, I feel like Aldo had a better career than Conor, even though Conor beat Aldo. And this, that's what I'm basing it off of, like, the careers they had. So, I'm going to go with Connor. Bisbing. Whew. These are all tough. I'm going to put Bisbing in very good. Couldn't see out of his eye. After that, won the title. And one of the best ever. Woodley, we're also going to put him in very good. He had a very good run at welterweight. Had a, multiple title defenses. He deserves to be in very good. TJ Dillashaw, also going to put him in very good. I mean, no other place to put him. He's former champ, 
um, one of the best bantamweights and only place there's gonna be a lot of very good on this just by looking at these who is that I, I don't know who that is his half of his face is freaking cut off I can't tell I'm just gonna put him down there. Ooh, Alistair over him <sighs> I don't want to keep putting everybody in very good but there's no other place you can put Alistair over him I'm just gonna put him in very good he was never the champion I don't think I mean for different organizations he was the champ but never the champ for um the UFC Anderson Silva, 100% GOAT. No questions about it. I mean, so many title defenses. He was so dominant for like 10 years, just dominating everybody. I mean, he had a rocky end of his career, but for sure, he's a GOAT. Ooh, Anthony Pettis. I, he might have to be in good. I mean, I feel like all these guys have a better resume than him. Anthony Pettis is kind of like one of those um, Edson Barbosa guys where they had a good career, but not like that top level, top level fighter career. Cody Garbrandt, I mean, he like prime Cody Garbrandt was a demon. Like he was super good, but I mean, he had what like three or four fights going up to the title, won the title, and then lost, and now he's like. His last like five fights, he's lost like three or four of them. So he might have to be my first decent one. And it's crazy to think because Prime Cody Garbrandt is very good, but after his after he won the title, it was just all downhill from there. Ooh, Max Holloway. I'm gonna have to put him in very good. Also, I mean, only man he's really lost to in the last like ten years at featherweight is Alexander Volkanovski, who that's one in. Pro that's probably the best featherweight of all time, so have to put him in very good. Ooh, Guftison. Guft Guf Guftison. How do I why can't I say his name? Guft Gufterson. Why is that so hard for me to say? I don't know. We're gonna put him in good though, because he was never a champ. Super good in his prime. Almost beat John Jones, one of the only people to come close to beating John Jones. But career wise he had a short prime and kind of went downhill after that John Jones fight. Ooh, Cowboy Cerrone. This is hard because he was obviously one of the best ever if you look at how many fights he had. But then if you look at his record, he's not one of the best ever. He's more of like a, he was always like good in his career, but never like, that guy he fought for a super long time had a whole bunch of fights but he was never one of the best so i'm just gonna put him in good amanda nunes go for sure i mean best woman fighter of all time i'm i no other woman in the history of time could beat amanda nunes in a fight um prime amanda nunes so she's go for category for sure cm punk psh, go obviously <laughs> uh, ooh, RDA. Ooh. I'm gonna have to put him very good. His career, very long career. He had like 20 something fights in the UFC, which is insane. Um, was the champ, lost to Eddie Alvarez, but has always been a very good fighter. Holly Holm. I'm gonna put her in. I'm gonna put her in very good. I mean, she was a champ beat Ronda Rousey, has had a very successful career, hasn't gotten back to where she was when she beat Ronda Rousey, but still, one of the best women fighters of all time. Ooh, Israel Adesanya, we're gonna put him also very good. Um, multiple title offenses at middleweight, his only losses is to Jan Blahovic and Alex Pereira, which he ended up redeeming himself and beating Pereira. So, yeah, very good. Masvidal. I'm going to put Masvidal at good. He's never been a championship level fighter. I mean, he's fought for the belt twice. And he really didn't deserve to fight for that belt. Like, prime Masvidal was very good. But he was never, like, one of the best. His wrestling is terrible. I mean, not terrible, but not good. And he just gets controlled on the ground. Boxing-wise, he's very good. But overall career, can't put him at very good. Ooh, Justin Gaethje obviously just came off a crazy win against um, Dustin Poirier. Set up the head kick, fake, fake the punch, or actually, no, he didn't fake it, he threw it. Poirier's head goes here, 
boom, brings a leg up, kicks him just like Leon Edwards did. Except I think Leon did it with his jab hand. Gaethje did it with his backhand. But still, similar to that, BMF title, former Anthem um, champion, his only losses are to Eddie Alvarez, who's a former champion. Habib, who's a former champion. Dustin Port. Yeah, the first time who he redeemed and Poirier was a former interim champion and then Charles Oliveira who was a former champion so he's only lost to championship level fighters so I'm going to put him at very good that might be me being biased because I'm a big Gaethje fan but for sure he's very good but yeah George St. Pierre obviously had how many title defenses did he have like 8 or something like that or maybe even more but uh Dominant, only two losses, came back, beat those two guys. Definitely one of the greatest of all time. Habib, same thing with Habib. I'm going to put him in the greatest of all time category. I mean, he, 29-0, and 0, he's fought good people. A lot of people say his resume is terrible. But if you look at his later career, he fought, beat Edson Barbosa, beat Rafael de Sanjos, beat Justin Gaethje, beat Dustin Poirier, beat um, Conor McGregor. I mean, he's beaten very good fighters. and I don't like when people disrespect Khabib, but I wouldn't say he's the GOAT just because of his resume. But, like, skill for skill, pound for pound wise, he, I mean, never really had a close fight. Um, he had one in his early career, but besides that, I mean, lost one round to Conor McGregor, and besides that, never lost a round, never bled in the octagon, in a sport that is super violent, and people get huge cuts, huge gases, I mean, look at Nate Diaz when he fights, face covered in blood, Habib never bled, so that just shows something about how dominant he was. Alright, next up, ooh, Kamaru Usman, I love Kamaru Usman, I'm He's one of my favorite fighters. Um, if he would have beat Leon, got one or two more title defenses, he'd be up here. But, got head kicked. So I'm going to put him in very good. I mean, that sucked. I mean, the fight that sucked worse for being an Usman fan was this, or I guess third one. Because that's when he lost. And, I mean, it was a close fight, but Leon definitely won. And, uh... Usman just, his wrestling just didn't look as good as the first fight. Yeah, Leon was grabbing the cage, but still. I mean, the second fight, I was like, okay, he got head kicked. He'll come back and win it back. But after that third fight, I'm like, where does he go now? Like, if he loses one or two more, he might be done, which is sad to think about. So hopefully he gets back to where he was previously at. Ooh, Robbie Lahr, he's very good. I mean... Welterweight champ had a couple title defenses, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, one of the toughest fighters ever. He just had a nice knockout for his last fight, put him in it very good. Paulo Costa, we're going to put Costa at good. Um, his only losses are like to Adesanya and Robert Whitaker, I believe, which that's pretty impressive considering those are two Adesanya's champ, Whitaker is the former champ, so we're gonna put him at good, even though he does a lot of steroids. Oh, I know her. Why can't I think of her name? Maybe because I don't watch them much. Woman UFC. Actually, I do enjoy watching women UFC if it's a good fight, but I don't know everybody. I know a good amount, but I'm not sure who this is. But I know who she is. If that makes sense, I don't know her name, but I know who she is. We're just gonna put her at good. What the? Bruh. What is that? Alright, Nate Diaz. We're going to put him at good. He had a similar career as Masvidal. Super tough guy. Long career in the UFC. But was never a championship fighter. Robert Whitaker. We're going to put him at... Very good. Uh, former champ. Only losses are in recent time after he was a champ. is to Adesanya and Duplisi. Which he's kind of... It's kind of sad to see him lose like that because he might not get back to where he was. But yeah, he's career-wise super good fighter. Who is that? Why do they keep having these 
I'm just gonna. He kind of looks like Derek Lewis, but I, that's not Derek Lewis. But why do they have these cut off freaking fighters? All right, Stipe Miocic. Ooh, I really want to. He's the heavyweight goat, but he's not a goat. He's not in my like top. Maybe in my top ten. Let's just put him like top of the top of the. Um, very good. That's where he belongs. Ooh. Ah, this one hurts. Darren Till. Prime Darren Till. Very good. Overall, Darren Till. Decent. Sad to see him after that, um, Woodley fight. He just went downhill. And it's sad to see. Oh, another thing sad to see is Tony Ferguson. Just came off of a loss. Um, it sucks to see that. But I want to put him in. I'm still going to put him in very good. I mean, prime Tony Ferguson was animal. Went on like a 12 fight win streak. I mean, dominated fights. And never got a title shot because of injuries, weight, cutting. I mean, five times have even Tony Ferguson were scheduled to fight. And not one of them actually played out. Which sucks to see. Sucks to see what he's gone through now. Six fights in a row. That he's lost. I hope they just give him one little trash can. Give him like, I'm just saying. I want give him Patty Pimblet. Patty Pimblet isn't a trash can, but I feel like he could beat Patty Pimblet. Somebody with a big name that Tony Ferguson could beat. So give him Patty Pimblet. If he beats Patty Pimblet, Tony, please retire. DC, ooh, he's not in the goat category. But he's in top of very good. I mean, he's only lost to this man and this man. The heavyweight GOAT and the MMA GOAT. So, definitely one of the best. One of the best wrestlers of all time. If it was wrestling, he'd be in GOAT. But overall, I'm going to put him in very good. And last but not least, because I'm not going to do these guys because I don't know who they are. Um, we got Yol Romero. <laughs> Yol Romero, never a champion has been very close to being a champion multiple times so i'm gonna actually put yoel in very good i mean he's still fighting at like 46 years old and still animal so gotta give him props i'm gonna put him in very good all right so this is my tier list um obviously i'm not like an mma expert i'm just a fan of mma enjoy and i enjoy watching mma so this is my tier let me know your thoughts Give me constructive criticism. Don't just hate on my list if you don't agree with it. Just tell me what you would change. So yeah, that's going to be it.